There's been increasing criticism of the gap between bosses' pay deals and the rest of the workforce. Sir Martin Sorrell's controversial package, including bonuses, was up 60% on the year. That brings the proposed total pay package to £6.8 million. The average pay deal for a boss in the FTSE 100 group of leading companies was up 11%. But employees of UK firms enjoyed an increase of just 1.1% over the year. The issue is now high on the political agenda. Within the next few weeks, ministers will unveil plans to give shareholders more power and binding votes on boardroom payouts. Hugh Pym, BBC News. Well, for more on this story, joining me now from our central London studio is Chris Roebuck, a visiting professor at Cass Business School. A very good evening to you. Uh, evening. This vote is, of course, the latest in a series against uh, very large remuneration packages for senior executives. What's the significance of this particular vote at WPP, do you think? The significance of this one is, is quite clearly that the organisation actually is, is doing pretty well, uh, but the response from the shareholders was that we are not prepared to support this and as you said 60 percent did not support it to be blunt it's absolutely clear what happened here either that particular pay reward was not required it was not due in terms of performance or if it was the case for it was not explained clearly to shareholders those are the only two options you can have now, writing in the FT la just last week, um, Sir Martin Sorrell said the board's compensation decisions are right because they reward performance, not failure. He went on, those decisions are competitively fair against our big US and French competitors, which we consistently outperform. So he's being pretty bullish about his right to be awarded this. We know, of course, that the vote by shareholders isn't binding.